Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Val Ramos. In today's DJ tutorial, we're gonna discuss how to use the track search and search functions on the CJ3000s. So I'm gonna bring the camera around to the top of the decks of the CJ3000, and we're gonna go over the forward and reverse buttons of the track search and then the search buttons, and how you can employ these buttons in your sets to enhance your sets and optimize your workflow. Okay, this is a bird's eye view of the CDJ3000 alongside the DJM9 or Nexus 2 mixer. I'm gonna show you how to use the track search and the search buttons to optimize your workflow and enhance your DJ sets. So the track search is merely just going to skip to the next track in that crate. So I know there are three tracks in this crate. It's actually my EP, punch, kick, slash, rip. But the tracks in this crate are punch, kick, slash, rip, throw it all away, and someday. So if I press track search, it'll load the next track in that crate. So now throw it all away, and then someday. You see the track title up at the top. So this is how you can switch quickly between tracks. Now you could just go back and then scroll and then actually load that track. But if you want to do it much quicker, like, oh, I accidentally pressed the wrong track and you just press it one more time, then maybe you could find the track. So for example, I'm scrolling quick and I load someday. I'm like, oh no, I really wanted to load throw it away. And then you can just press back and then you got throw it away. So that's how you can use track search. It's really powerful if you make a mistake and you need to go back or forwards one track in that crate because you accidentally loaded the wrong track. Now the search button is powerful if you want to find your first cue point that is much farther along in that track. So rather than scrolling this jog wheel like this and taking forever, you can just pull down the search forward button and you're gonna watch this red tick mark go forward in the mix or in the track. Now what you can do is you can turn up the volume on your headphones over here. You can press these cue buttons on your DJM9 or Nexus 2 mixer with this volume fader all the way down, you can preview this track in the headphones. I'm gonna press play. See? You see that? And it's not playing out to the crowd. It's just playing your headphones. I turn the headphone volume down, no one can hear it. So that's powerful. Now let's say, okay, I don't like that first drop. I wanna go, I wanna start from the second drop. All you gotta do is hold down this search feature or search button, go to the second drop and say, okay, I'm gonna start right here, find my first cue point. You're gonna press the cue button, find your first cue point, and then you can preview the track again. Trump the volume of the headphones. Now, turning up the volume fader, now it's gonna play out. So there you have it. If you have any other comments, questions, tips, or tricks to share with the audience, then please leave those in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.